welcome to Bite Size Piano. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to play um, what you just heard in the preview, uh, which of course repeats throughout the entire uh, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg's Still Dre. So it literally is that same thing the entire way through. This one is in between keys. So you wouldn't be able to play along to this one, the actual track, um, it's between like notes. So the, the, the note would be a pitch somewhere between those two notes. So I have really listened to it and I've picked which one I think it's closest to, which actually happens to be the easier way to play it as well, because as you saw, it's just all based around the white notes. Hello, my name is Francesca and I'm a teacher here at Bite Size Piano. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'd love to have you here learning from my piano tutorials. Please give the video a like if you enjoy it and that it's useful. I do take piano tutorial requests, so if you would like to request one from me, stick around to the end of the video with our instructions on how you can do that. Here on Bite Size Piano, I make all sorts of tutorials, so um, go have a rummage around my channel, see what else you can learn, make sure to hit the notifications bell, and I've left a few playlists in the description below to get you started. So. Let's dive in. So here is middle C on my piano. If you locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano, and we're starting fairly high. So you're gonna be playing um, three note chords in the right hand. So you're gonna to need to place your thumb on the C above middle C, two on E, and your five on A. So to begin with, you can play all these notes at the same time, but it's doing like a, what I call a bling, 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 bling. <laughs> so it's kind of going like that, like rolling off the notes from lowest to highest, like rapidly. But that's quite tricky and that can become quite strenuous on the hand. So for now, just play like that, it still sounds awesome. So you're gonna play that eight times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's an A minor first inversion chord there. Then all you're gonna do is you're simply going to move your thumb down to B, but keep those other notes where they are. So this makes up an E sus4 chord. And then so you're gonna bring your little finger in to G but keep those other two fingers there. And then it repeats again from the beginning. So I'm gonna do a few rounds of this slowly, and it's important that you really grasp each hand separately before you try it hands together. to know what all these inversion words mean um, I've left a video in the description which goes um, thoroughly in depth with all of that so go and check that out so that's all the right hand is doing um, so let's have a look at the left hand I'll teach it using single notes um, but you could play in octaves as well if you're comfortable stretching octaves but if not just play single notes the first note is an E and then an A down to E and that's it that's all the left hand is doing so if I count and play that at the same time so the E comes in on one two three four one two three four one two three again four one two three four one two Three. So left hand is fairly straightforward. Now I'm gonna slowly, very slowly, put that together for you. So the left hand comes in first. And then these two come in together. One, two, three, four, five, six. And 
and you're going to change to the B on the seventh and then change the right hand and play that with the E one two three and change that four five six seven and it starts again So now what you can try and do is um, you can either try what I explained at the beginning is breaking up, blinging the chords, um, so you're kind of rolling um, like that. So we'll try doing that. I'll go a little bit quicker. I'm still just playing singular notes in the left hand. I'll show you playing octaves in the left hand, so I'll play it quite low down, so the lowest note will probably be out of shots. to it and you play that for however long the song is four and a half minutes of that <laughs> so that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful if you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request you need to click on this video which takes you through to my official request space you do need to be subscribed all requests are noted and considered so i look forward to seeing you over there